to my channel. My name is Bunny Cakes, and today I am going to be doing a video about my bookmark collection. Um, I've seen a couple of booktubers do this, and it's something I've wanted to do for a long time because as much as I love books, I also love collecting bookmarks, and um, I think they kind of go hand in hand. And uh, I have collected a lot over the years, so I'm also not a bookmark snob. I will use anything that I can easily reach as a bookmark if I don't have one prepared when I start reading a book. Um, so one of the common things I use as bookmarks when I don't have one of my regular bookmarks on hand is like greeting cards. So like I have this one that I recently got from a Reddit secret Santa and it's a little kitty cat. Love it. And then I have another one. This is for bigger books, of course, but this one I've been using as a bookmark as well. And um, then that second one was actually from my bookmark secret Santa from Reddit. And she sent me a couple of really cute bookmarks. So she sent me this cute little pineapple one. It says, I love pineapple on the back, and it's magnetic, so it mag it you clip it around a couple of pages, and there's an apple one. It says, I love apple, and it's also magnetic. And then she sent me these two bookmarks. They're kind of color your own bookmarks. She colored one for me, and it's done front and back, and it has a little quote on the back. Um, so it says, the C... Once it casts its spell, holds one in its net of wonder forever by Jacques Cousteau. And then the other one she left for me to color. And it's really cute. It's sea themed. And it says, I ransack public libraries and find them full of sunken treasure, which was said by Virginia Woolf. And here's the back of it. I haven't colored it yet. I'm going to get there eventually. Um... And then we have just the ones I've collected over the years. So this is one that was given to me as a gift by my fiancé's grandma or aunt. I can't remember which one. It had a little angel pin clipped to it. And I have no idea what happened to that over the years. But it's a Thomas Kincaid bookmark. And it's so pretty. And it says, a home is made from love. And I love that one. Um... And then more of my random things I use as bookmarks. I have these uh, Christmas gift tags. This one's a nutcracker. And then there's two just like stripey ones. They're totally gift tags. And I did have a fourth one. I have no idea what happened to it. Um, but I found these at the end of Christmas last year for like 20 cents. And I thought they would make cute gift, uh, not gifts, uh, bookmarks rather than gift tags. So. I use those a lot in my smaller books. And this one is it's really cute. It's another magnetic one, but it's longer. And it says, a book is a friend from beginning to end. And it's got a little mouse and a little puppy on it. Love that one. I have no idea where that one came from. Um, more of my random bookmarks. Uh, these are color your own sticker things. I haven't colored them yet either. They're on my things I'm going to do during quarantine list. Um, and another random thing I have that I occasionally use as a bookmark is a marine rose that I got on some Memorial Day past or Labor Day. I can't remember, but I use that sometimes. Okay. And then a couple of these, a couple of favorite ones. I don't like to use these as much because they're really thick. Um, and they lay funny in the book, but I think they're really cute anyway. They're wooden. and see, they're kind of chonky. Um, but this one is Each Day is a Fresh Start. And this one is Hope. And it's got a cool little design on it. Um, I like these, but like I said, I don't use them very often because they're thick. And I don't like the way they make my book lay. Um, this one is another Thomas Kincaid that... I can't remember if this was given to me or if I borrowed it from my mother-in-law and never gave it back to her. But it says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light from my path. Psalm 119, 105. Um, 
and it's really pretty. It's another Thomas Kincaid one. Um, and it's got a quote on the back, but it's kind of old, so <laughs> I can't read it very well. Um, and then this one I love because it's like color shifty. I got this one um, from a science exhibit museum type thing that I went to with some friends of mine two years ago. So I love that one. And then this one is a recent addition to the family. I bought this on Amazon because I love it. I love skulls and crossbones. And when I'm writing, I pretty much want people to keep out. <laughs> so that one is still in its sleeve. And I tend to keep these ones protected in that sleeve so that they're easier to keep safe. Um, I also have a habit of picking up random bookmarks I find at the library. When my library is open, it they often uh, they have free bookmarks that they give out uh, when you check out books. So here's uh, a couple that I have from them. This one says "Build a Better World" and it's got some cool designs. Um, and this one is another "Build a Better World" and it's got sorts of inventions and stuff that you can learn to make by reading books and then there's a library's rock and a different version of library's rock they had this on a t-shirt that they were giving out as a prize um last summer it looked so cool i really wanted it never managed to win it i didn't check out enough books i think that summer um and sometimes they advertise things like uh, my library has a deal with uh, with mango languages so that we and it has like over 60 languages not sponsored <laughs> but uh, with your library card you can get it's kind of like um, Rosetta Stone but free and um, they had a thing with uh, rock and read save for save for college read and save for college um, it was a scholarship program they did a couple years ago, and this one is one of my favorites from them. It's Spotlight Good Character, so it has all sorts of character traits listed there, but the cool thing is on the back it has, uh, it has character quotes. So it has a quote from Helen Keller, Martin Luther King Jr., Eleanor Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt, and Booker T. Washington. Um... The Helen Keller quote is, we can do anything we want if we stick to it long enough. The Martin Luther King Jr. quote is, "Time is always the time is always, always right to do what is right. I can totally read it, I promise. <laughs> the next one is from Eleanor Roosevelt. It's, people grow through experience. If they meet life honestly and courageously, this is how character is built. I think that's very true. And then, um, in any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing by Theodore Roosevelt. I agree with that, though sometimes it's hard to tell what the right thing is. Um, <laughs> and then the last one is character, not circumstances, makes the man, Booker T. Washington. And I think that one's a really good one, too. Um, so that's what the back looks like. And you probably can't read that, but I read it to you, so it's fine. And then, um... These are some little flimsy paper ones, but they are, um, they promote different authors. So it's, uh, this one is If You Like a Good Mystery, and it has a bunch of authors you can check out. Um, and then If You Like Westerns, try, and it's got a bunch of authors you can check out. And then If You Like Horror, try these. And horror is one of my favorite genres that I always like to explore more, and there's some authors on here that I've never read um, or that I, I often forget about. So I, I took these mostly for the author <laughs> promos on them so I would remember. Um, and then here's another one I got from the library. It says, exercise your mind, read. And then this cute little one, every hero has a story. And I think the little sea creatures are, are adorable. And then this thing is technically not a bookmark. It is an alumni window or bumper sticker that I got from my college. Um, and I'm going to stick that to something eventually. I just haven't got there yet. Um, let's see. There's a couple more here from the library. 
So here's another one that was um, advertising about uh, preventing child abuse that I got from my library. And it's got all sorts of statistics on here. Like, did you know 59% of kids join social networks before they are 10? 92% of teens are online daily. One out of 10 children will be abused in their lifetime. And 15 to 13, 5 to 13% never tell anybody and in 2016 there were 1887 confirmed cases of a very specific type of abuse in Kentucky um, and it's got numbers and everything that you can call if you live in Kentucky and you know about that sort of thing um, and then this is another one. It was flimsy paper, but the library actually laminated it. <laughs> I guess they had a free minute. Um, it's uh, it's another thing that my library does um, where you can... It's got universal classes, and there are like a couple of hundred classes that you can take from everything from like baking classes to paranormal investigation classes that you can do right on your computer at your own pace and you get little certificates at the end um and then these two were cute they're little comics um and they're uh why do i love to read is the name of the comic and the little character's name is bone and this one says reading can take you out of this world and then the I have another one from him, and it's um, it says reading can make you smart and important. <laughs> and then he's pointing at a guy and says, "You there, hand me that beaker." And the guy says, "Yes, sir." I suppose these I I could probably color them too. I might do that when I get around to it. Um, and I swear I think I'm missing. I remember having more bookmarks than this, but I'm almost done with what I had all in one place um so this is another card i got this next set of bookmarks in um a couple of twitter book related uh random drawing things I, back when i was doing youtube the last time so about two years maybe three years ago um so this one says per aspera ad astra and a different me would remember enough Latin to tell you what that says, um, but that's not me right now. <laughs> um, and then there's this little guy. It's actually a sticker, um, and it's autographed by the author of the books, or the artist in this book, I can't remember, Alexandra Ott. And then in that same contest, I got one from... And it's autographed as well from Heather Kaczynski. I hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong. So this is really cool. And I use those as bookmarks rather than the stickers that they actually are. And then I have one from Tammy Faraby from Outsiders. And this one actually has a cool back. And it's got her website right there. Um, TammyFaraby.com and this one is really cute, and it was autographed by both of the authors. It's A Dash of Dragon. This is a, I think it's a middle grade book, um, and it has a synopsis of the book. It says, Leilu Loganberry is an expert at hunting dr dangerous beasts, and she's even better at cooking them. And the authors are Heidi Lang and Katie Bartkowski and the cover illustration is by Angela Lee and um, the book was published in July 2017 so yeah about three years ago is when I got these um, and here's what the back looks like with the autographs from the two authors and uh, there's the ISBN if you want to focus please if you want to look that up. Um, and yes, Al Alexandra Ott is an author. She wrote Rules for Thieves. And this is another autograph bookmark, an actual bookmark that I got from her. Um, and it, this, auto this came out on June 6, 2017. So I've had these for a minute. 
Um, and the synopsis for that book is a 12-year-old orphan, Allie Roscoe, is cursed with a deadly spell. She must join the le legendary Thieves Guild in order to try and save herself in this high-stakes debut. So this was her very first book. And so there's the back of that one. This one is a really pretty bookmark. I think I actually got two of this one, and I gave one to uh, to my fiance's aunt. And um, here's another one that was autographed. Why do I have hair? Okay. Um, this one, it says, Hello, Pointless Human. Thank you for using this bookmark. Holly Farb and the Princess of the Galaxy is a famous story praised by many life forms. You are welcome in advanced. And so... It looks like that on the front, and it was written by Gareth Ronkowski, and here's the back of it, and there's his Twitter information, if you can see that. It's uh, Gareth, it's at Gareth Ronkowski, and his website is GarethRonkowski.com, and then um, this is another one I got that... Um, it's an advertisement for one of the books from the contest. Uh, the rules are simple, is what it says. And the book was Dare Mighty Things. You must be gifted. You must be younger than 25. You must be willing to accept the dangers that you will face if you win. It's a Harper Teen book that came out on October 10th, 2017 by Heather Kaczynski. And there's all of the relevant author information. And it says... It's the most important competition on earth. And this one I think is really pretty. I don't really actively use the autographed ones a whole lot. <laughs> because I kind of want to keep them um, safe. <laughs> because, you know, they're special. Not everybody has uh, bookmarks autographed by the authors. So I try to keep them safe a little bit. And the ones I use mostly are the library ones that... Uh, that I know I can get a hundred more of. Um, but then I also use like the Thomas Kincaid ones a lot. And you can tell I've used this one a lot because it's little tassel fell off at some point. <laughs> I actually remember when that fell off, I was talking to a friend of mine and I moved my book and it fell off and I said, Oh no, there's been a death in the family. And she freaked out. Cause I, I, she thought that I meant like a person <laughs> when what I meant was just my family of books bookmarks um but yeah that is all the bookmarks I have that I can find at the moment um I'm reasonably certain that I have more I just I have no idea where they would be because usually I keep them all in this little folder where they're all happy together and it was actually well it's not a folder it's a little um manila envelope with a clip on it and it's actually one of the envelope it's the envelope that the contest bookmarks came from um and yeah I have no idea where any other bookmarks got to but I remember there's a bookmark that I'm semi-remembering at the moment that's not in this pile, and I don't know where it would be. It may be tucked into a book somewhere that I started reading and then misplaced, because that happens to me a lot. <laughs> um, so, if, if I find any more, I might do an updated uh, bookmark collection video at some point in the future. Um, because you know, and I know, and everybody who reads books knows that I'm going to have more bookmarks in the future. It's just a matter of time. And now that I'm thinking about bookmarks, I may hop on the computer and go find some more bookmarks to add to the collection. Um, but also I like getting bookmarks as gifts and everything like that, uh, because it's something I know I'll use at some point. And I think it's kind of special because, um, as I found out doing the bookmark Secret Santa, you can't just pop over to Walmart and get a bookmark. It's not super easy. So it takes some actual effort that you don't expect to find somebody a bookmark. Um, 
and in fact, a lot of the time when I order my own bookmarks, if I'm not ordering from Amazon, I have, uh, I usually go to Etsy and get the handcrafted ones. They are so, there are so many bookmarks over there that I need for my collection. And yes, I need them. It's not that I want them. I need them. Those are the rules. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's, that's all I have for my, my bookmark collection. Um, and I'd love to talk about it out. Uh, are there any types of items that you use as bookmarks that aren't normal? Um, I know at least one booktuber who uses uh, postcards. Um, and frankly, I've used receipts and my cat's tail temporarily. Um, and seed packets and all sorts of things. So what are some things that you guys use as bookmarks? And um, if you're a booktuber out there, I would love to see your bookmark collection as well, if you have one. Um, thank you for watching, and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.